Hi everybody, how's it going today? Thanks for watching another video. I'm out in the uh, alfalfa field here for our neighbor Tyson's. They uh, just started merging this here a couple hours ago, I think probably an hour ago maybe. We're actually chopping at the dairy already. Chopped that first because I was fairly thin, so we were a little concerned that that was going to get dry too quick. Thought I'd come over here because I and uh, do some filming of the merging. I just uh, flew my drone and kind of followed them back and forth one time. Cause I don't think I'll have time to come out here and film the chopping, or at least it doesn't look like. Got a few things to do this afternoon. I don't think I'll be done by the time they're going to be done chopping here, but we'll see how the afternoon goes. I've, I'd like to get over here still if I can. I did get some filming of the chopping at the dairy, but uh, windrows are. Pretty small, not very many on the field, and there's some uh, corn stalks in the windrows also, so it's not the nicest, uh, not the nicest looking shot. But I thought I'd come look at the alfalfa here. And there's still some moisture in there. I think this is going to be pretty good. There's a decent, making some decent windrows here. It looks like. I think he's putting six windrows together because he's throwing three on top of one but then he's coming back and catching two and flipping this back over one more time so that all the windrows are moved get all of them kind of picked up off the ground and fluffed up make it easy for the chopper to pick it up at least that's i'm assuming i'm assuming that's why he's doing that i guess i don't don't have any uh, personal experience but a little bit of uh, rain to forecast tomorrow, so it'd be nice to get this done, get a little rain on this, and hopefully we get some good regrowth. More than likely, you should get a, one more cutting off of this, and uh, but that's probably gonna be it, I think, because it's uh, middle of July now, the middle of August. By the time we cut it again, then it'll be too late to cut another time. Sounds like they just finished up at the our field at the dairy here, they're gonna be heading this way. It's coming back with the merger here, so I'll get a shot up close and then I'm gonna head back to the farm too. Dusty. So the idea is uh, to pick up all the alfalfa and uh, as little rocks and dirt, there are ideally no rocks and no dirt as possible. The a merger is apparently supposed to do a good job at that. Don't have any, don't have any uh, experience with a merger versus a any kind of other rig, but I think that's the idea anyways. And the ability to put quite a few swaths together, good even swath for the chopper.
It's a few days later here, didn't get a chance to finish the video. Just uh, with Ian and Eli here today. This is that uh, alfalfa pile that we uh, chopped here. We just butted right up against the pile of first cutting off of uh, our neighbor's field. The uh, I did tally up the yields for off of Tyson's field. We were just a little under one ton an acre when we figured it back to uh, dry hay tons essentially. We're we'd like to be or the goal going into this was to be at around a ton an acre per cutting. So we're I mean we're getting there. We're getting close, and that's just the second cutting off of that field. So uh, and he, he did uh, reseed some of the lower areas where the alfalfa had drowned out. So we'll see if we can uh, get that yield up a little bit. So we'll have to see. Hopefully, I'd like to get one more cutting here. I'd like to get one more cutting. Where are you going, Eli? Where are the cows? Looks like a nice little pile. We did start feeding off the uh, east side here of that first cutting because we'd like to feed through this whole pile before we start uh, silage harvest. Okay, I'm coming. Where are you going? Because we'd like to pile either earlage or silage on this slab here behind the shop and uh, feeding area. But we'll, uh, yeah, we'll see how that goes. We've got about uh, two months or so, I suppose. Kind of depends on the corn's not tasseling yet, so at least six weeks to uh, try to get through this pile, which we'll have to feed pretty quickly if we want to feed it up in six weeks. Two, two months, two and a half months, that's doable. We'll, uh, we'll see how it goes. We'll just have to feed a little more if we uh, think we're not going to get through it in time. But uh, yeah. Probably end this video here. Appreciate you guys watching. And uh, hopefully, we'll uh, see you in the next video.